Oh, thank God. It's not like the evil Lamican Desert and we actually have to make sure that we, uh, keep our cool by finding an oasis. If we had to do that again, I don't know what I'd do. Probably just scream in frustration. <laughs> actually, no, I do really like that part of the Lamican Desert. It adds, uh, an element of difference to it. And adds an action element to it, which is, you know, nice that it's not the same. Ah, <sighs> alright. Well, oh, hey, a, s a sandstorm. What did you expect? Everybody was complaining about them. There'll be trouble if we get caught up in one of those. But something is wrong. Why are there so many? If we don't get past here, we'll never make it to Babby Lighthouse. We must step carefully if we hope to escape the desert. Wait, what? Wait, what? Um... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. It should have shown a, uh... As far as I remember, it should have shown a... A whirlwind right in front of me. But it didn't. It's had a crazy voice. I lose 10 PP. Whatever. It's just 10 PP. I did more damage. <laughs> Let's just get rid of these heritings quick. Cast a void, because I don't know why we didn't do that. I'm pretty sure that um, a tornado should have popped up in front of us. Yeah. Okay. So, crap. This is actually going to be a lot harder than usual, because... I'm guessing it didn't show up for you guys either. But I can't see the whirlwinds. Fortunately, they all spawn in areas like these. Oh, now I can see it. There we go. I'm just gonna use douse on that one that we can't see. And, oh, come on. Oh, that's right, I forgot. We can actually use douse. Oh no, we have to use douse while we're in it. Ugh. Actually, see if this uh, helps. Alright, this should um, help a little, maybe? Oh, there we go. No, that's right. We gotta do it while we're up in it. But now we can actually see it. Maybe. I don't know if it'll show up for you guys, because basically what I just did is I changed the emulation from 30 frames a second to 60 frames a second which I shouldn't usually have to do, but I have to. <laughs> um, otherwise, well, now it's actually it was actually showing up, so. Oh, I don't like that, though. I don't like that. Because, I mean, I'm going to render the video at 30 frames a second, so I don't even know if it's going to show up in the rendered video now. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can actually do. Um... You're just gonna have to pretend it's there. What is this? Oh, thank god. I was gonna be like, wait a minute. This is a mimic. I know this is a mimic. No, it's a virtuous armlet. Use restore 100 HP. That's actually pretty good. Um, giving it to Mia. Wow, she needs that. Oh, she's got the battle gloves, though. Mmm, it's not worth it. Battle gloves are not worth it at all. Oh well. Oh well. Oh man, roaches? Hell yeah. Love those guys. Let's see, I'm using Mars Jin because I figure, hey, Mars is strong, it would be fire strong against Earth, right? Right? That makes sense. Totally. Uh, I'm guessing, because I don't actually know what the weaknesses are of these, because it doesn't... It doesn't seem to do... It doesn't seem to be intuitive or anything like that. Like, I can tell that roaches, they're not... They're strong against fire, because they took less damage. But other than that, it's just a... T it's just trial and error and remembering a whole... 
a lot of different enemies, which I, I don't have the mental acuity to remember every enemy in this game and what they're weak against. So we're gonna do Cutting Edge, we're gonna do Mad Blast, we're gonna do Tornado, and we're gonna do Frost Sphere to find out what these guys are weak against. Tornado, 76, not weak against them. Didn't expect him to be, since he's a Tornado Lizard. Uh, Mercury, 67, no, no, he's not weak against that. Not weak against that. Um, we forgot to do Earth. Well, also Mio's kind of hurting. Well, let's do some Earth, shall we? Alright, we're gonna give you a Plywell. I do like the... This part of the song. <laughs> it is kind of cool, but otherwise it's like, eh, whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that he's weak against Wa uh, Mercury then. Well, those guys, not he. There's more of them, of course. Oh man, Mia, you're gonna be using so much PP. Thankfully, we've got three healers, so... Once you're out, we can uh, start using Isaac, then we can actually go to Garrett. Garrett will be using PP outside of battle, I know. Crazy, right? See, I keep thinking, like, oh, these guys are ground. So, I already said that. <laughs> but I keep thinking, like, oh, I gotta explain this. No, it's just a random battle. Look at those manticores, we're just gonna beat their ugly mugs in. I have to get up at 7 in the morning tomorrow. That's terrible. <laughs> oh no, I've got my Bible class in the morning. It's fun. It's, uh... The Bible is a history of the Jewish tribes more than anything else. Um... Which is the only Bible class I would ever take. Uh-huh. It's, uh... More the it's also kind of the Bible as literature, I guess, but it's also the Bible as a, a a piece of literature in its own history. Like right now, we're going over the different uh, authors of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Well, no, not the different authors of the New Testament. We haven't gone that far. We're still doing the different authors of the Old Testament. Um, and we moved on to different canons of the Old Testament, so I don't really know where the class is going, that's... <laughs> but I had to take something in the category it was for a gen ad, so I decided, you know what, I'm an English major. Not only that, I'm Irish literature concentration. You know how much Bible stuff is in, in, is in literature? Not only that, Irish literature? Hmm. A lot. <laughs> I don't have a number to give you. God. You are a mimic. I remember you. Oh man, I remember the hell out of you. Oh, who was right? Oh my. Oh, I, I love that I can remember all these mimics. What else am I taking this semester? I am taking the English language. Right now it's just, oh, this is what you learned in 8th grade. Let's make sure that everybody's on the same page. It's more like review more than anything else. Um, I mean, there's a few things that I'm learning about different syntax and morphology. Well, no, we haven't gone to morphology really yet. There's different, th the, uh, there's a few things that I've learned about syntax that I haven't learned before. Like, there are a couple different types of prepositions that I knew how to use. I didn't know names for them. I never really knew what a subordinate clause was in its technical sense. Stuff like that. And it's cool to finally know those things, but I want to get on to the meat of the class, which is apparently we're going to be learning um, well, more complex grammar things. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call them. Not like terms and stuff like that, but I mean, obviously there's going to be terms to go with them. But I just want to get it. I, I just want all my classes to become a little more complex right now. 
Um, I mean, Irish is there already because we pretty much finished off a review today and we're moving on to, well, actually talking in Irish again and everything like that. So that's fun. Gonna skip that. Gonna skip that. Gonna skip that. You've got such a long animation judgment. It's cool, but it's, it's so long. <laughs> All right. Swordsman. I thought it said summoner for a second. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna... Should I change around these gin a little? Maybe. Maybe. Not yet, I don't think. Alright, but... Let's make this a little easier. <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, hey, tornado guy. We'll go whoa, 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 crap, he she didn't have enough PP. Oh, crap. I was gonna be like, hey, tornado guy, have some, have some summons, but shoot, we're out of PP. Oh, man, I, I can't believe I did, <laughs> I can't believe we were out of PP. I didn't, I wasn't even pay atten paying attention to what she had. She had one PP left. <laughs> but then, of course, as long as we're in the menu, we can just, you know, hang out in that... Oh, we can just hang out in that, uh, that tornado for as long as we want. No big deal. Yeah, let's just use all this, you know, why, why not? Let, yeah, go, go ahead. Throw out, throw out Thor. Look at that. That's gonna be cool. Just gonna electrocute the guy with a hammer. <laughs> Didn't do much damage, though. And then... Just gonna throw out a giant tree dinosaur. It's all cool. It's all good. Oh man, we are gonna have to uh, go back to Suhala at one point, I think, though. Because there is no place in the middle to rest, as far as I remember. I think there might be one Synergy Stone somewhere. I don't remember, though. There probably is. Most of these places do have a Synergy Stone lying around. Just can't remember where it is and then um, I have my uh, advanced literature class um, style in oh shoot I hate these guys oh because they can do a lot of damage with that shoot I mean if it's one of them I'm gonna take him out easily enough but um... oh thank god you can use your synergy when you're knocked out you're like a Pokemon. Um, Alright, actually, I think I'm going to change everybody's guys back to their normals. Just make things a little easier for me. Whoops. Uh, this should be good. I'll just have to wait for ground. Um... I know, it's it's a little vanilla, but whatever. It's more for my convenience than anything else. Because everybody tends to have a higher PP when, they, uh, when they're just using one element. Also, we got a Clay Spire, which is pretty good. Forgot about that. Oh, you're still a freaking swordsman or whatever. Shoot. Oh, man, and you're still screwed up. Darn it. Right, this might be a little hard then. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's see how Clay Spire does. Eh, we might be able to take him easily enough. Don't need a lot of damage. Forgot how tough these guys were. But they're really good experience. No, I'm taking uh, style and literature and film, and right now we're doing Mrs. Dalloway for our uh, literature style. So that's fun. Um, I really like that book. Well, I really like that book, and I'm not sure if I really like that book. Which is good. Um, I, I just can't tell how much I like it or not. I can't explain it more than that. Um, it feels like a crossroads between 
um, Joyce and Wild mixed with the feel of a woman writing it that Austin had. It's it's a novel that's very much of its time. Let's just say that. But it's good. And I've never read Virginia Woolf before. It's just, um... I don't know. It was It's something that just never happened. And it's not because of any real reason. Like, it's not like, oh, Virginia Woolf, I hate that. It's just, um... I never... It never crossed me to read her when I was younger. But then it never crossed me to read Wild when I was younger. It never crossed me to read Joyce when I was younger. It never crossed me to read Austin when I was younger. I love Wild. I really like Wolf now. Maybe. I Again, I've only, I've only read one of her novels. Um, I like The Dubliners. Uh, other than that, I think Joyce is a bit pretentious, like Portrait of an Ar oh, the Artist as a Young Man is okay. I can't get through, <laughs> I can't get through Ulysses. Um, one day I'll have to, but not today. <laughs> and Finnegan's Wake, let's not even go there. Um, <laughs> uh, Harry's gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, Probably won't even watch this. God. Um, and then we're just doing a bunch of films for the film style. I don't know. I'm taking it because you guys know that I'm really interested in animation, like anime and also otherwise. Like, I really like Western animation and stuff like that. And I want to be able to talk about it critically. I don't want to be just another voice in the crowd being like, I like that. Like, obviously, I can talk about story, story world, and stuff like that critically in animation. I mean, I did help run a panel on Puella Magi Magica Modica a year ago. So... Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna give it to Isaac. Ooh, we're gonna be using up a bunch of Psy Crystals, aren't we? Let's uh, use one of these ones. Might as well use them. I mean, we're not going to really use many once we get to the lighthouse, so. Um, I'm just going to attack you. Get some back some of our PP, maybe. Um, it's just a bunch of films. Like, I can remember a couple of them. Eight and a Half, which is an Italian film. Uh, Tokyo Story, and I think it's called The End of Summer, which are both, um... I don't remember his last first name, but I, his last name is Ota, I believe. Um, and those Tokyo Story is widely regarded as one of the best films ever made. So, uh, Battleship Potemkin, which is a silent Russian film, um, heavy in the propaganda, but you can see right through it if you're intelligent enough. Um, which I mean, pretty much all of us are now because we know the propaganda is not true. <laughs> uh, we know that communist Russia was pretty terrible. <laughs> um, I don't remember much of that, about that. I did see that in high school in my sophomore year, but that was a long time ago. That was like, how many years ago? Oh man. Oh, get out of here. I had something to say, you frickin' things. I'm just gonna take you out with extreme prejudice. Just... Quake's fear. Oh god, is that the is that Quake Five? <laughs> um. See that tornado up there? Oh man, I cannot wait to go up there because that is something that we are going to be spending a lot of time about. Alright, I think, yeah, we reveal we can actually uh, go across this way, and wait a minute. Odd footprints in the sand? What is this all about? I'm actually gonna trace them back to our, their source, because I think uh, 
that will actually... Oh, gosh. Oh, thank God. I think that might actually despawn that, uh... Tornado? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I was wrong. <laughs> I forgot that they could just come after you in the desert. Oh, Storm Lizard. You think you're all that? You think you're gonna gonna be able to take us out? I don't think so. Because look at this. I got Ember. I forgot that we had Ember. <laughs> oh, man. Ember, you will remember my name. I'm gonna go with Mist, or whatever his name was. Try to put him to sleep. Ah, oh, thank God. Ground will be really useful because it'll put him to sleep, or not put him to sleep. It'll make him unable to move. And this guy can do. This guy can hit pretty hard, as far as I remember. So. Oh man, I forgot he had two attacks though. God, I hate when they have that. All right. Um. I'm gonna go with granite. Because maybe that'll keep us safe for this turn. Probably. Should. I'm just gonna hit him with status effects. Go with his Zephyr so we can all go really fast. And you know what? Let's drop his attack a little. There we go. These guys aren't terribly difficult, but they are a bit difficult. Um, yeah, because they can do things like that, which do a buttload of damage. Oh, thank goodness we did put on that, um... Thank goodness we did use Granite, otherwise that would have done a lot more damage. Alright, let's steal some HP. Uh, I'm gonna go with boosting our defense, because we're gonna need that. Let's wrap you in Delusion. Garrett needs a little HP. Oh, thank god, that's actually gonna help a lot. He might not be able to hit us with his physical attack, and as far as I remember, he uses one physical attack a turn or something like that. One synergy, one regular attack. So, yeah, he hit us with wing stroke, but uh, he hit us with the other thing as well. Um, shoot. Oh, we need to do more damage to this guy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, go boost the attack. Use Thor. And, yeah, we're gonna soothe... Soothe... Soothe our soul with some great rock and roll. Same... Kind of music ain't got the same soul. I like that old time of rock and roll. Oh, come on. Come on, we can take this guy. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me! I don't even remember how much HP these guys are supposed to have. Oh, okay, I was like, Sonic Slash! What does that do again? That does a lot of damage. And, okay, your resistances are really high now. That is lovely. Well, hopefully this'll do something. Because otherwise we're kind of screwed. Breeze. Look at we're, we're we're kind of on the line with our HP. I mean, Mia's only got 67. Ivan's less than 100. Isaac and Garrett are even getting down there. I mean, look at I, I look at Garrett. Oh, okay, come on. How much HP do you have? Jeez. I don't remember it being this hard to fight you. And you're not even you're not even a boss. You're a mini boss. Just a uh, a run of the mill mini boss, especially because you know we ran into you. But look at how much H or experience he gave us. Twelve hundred, level twenty two. Oh my god! And he gave us a side crystal. That's fantastic. All right. So forgot. Yeah, the footprints actually come from there. Oh. Hey, that leads to Mars Gin. I forgot about that. Uh, we should pro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. 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 This is very bad. Very bad. 
This is a very, very bad occurrence. Okay, um, you are not going to let us go quietly. We are going to kick your asses with eruption and tornado and all that good stuff. All right, come on, come on, get eruption out. Come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett. What are you waiting for, Garrett? We need eruption now. Oh man, eruption is such a good move. It's gonna be. Oh, it does so much, so much damage. Oh, thank God, and we learned wish well with Mia. Which, oh, 160 damage. Oh man, we're gonna be using the hell out of this. Oh. I think there's. Isn't there another level of wish? I don't remember. I think there's another level of fly. That might be the second game. I don't remember. Aha! There we go. The Mars Jin. No! No! We're right there! No! 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 We're right there! I'm gonna get that Mars Jin and end the episode. Why do you have to do this to me? We're gonna Quake Sphere you, because we don't use those things enough. Um. Garrett's gonna attack that guy because he's got no HP or no PP. Same with uh, same with uh, what's his name? With Ivan, he's just gonna yeah physically attack. There we go. That works, right, guys? Right, guys? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Oh man, I told myself I'm gonna sit down today and I'm gonna record Golden Sun until I finish the game. That's not happening. That's not happening. I am done. <laughs> I just need to take a break. Ugh, it's almost over. I want it to be over. Because I can, I, like, I enjoy this game, but it's not my favorite game. And I kind of wish that I had not put myself into this project, but... Uh, whatever. Okay, attack us. You know what? You know what? Come get some. Come get some. Come take some Judgment, some Meteor, some Thor, some not regular physical attacks. Take some Boreas. Boreas. Whatever his name is. Oh, yeah. You like that? You like that? I bet you you you're lo you're love that. You, you're just bathing in... I'm gonna kill you so much, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you with a judgment, and a meteor, and a frickin' sleep, and a Boreas. How'd you like those sheep? Ha! Now you can't, now you can't run. What now? Huh? Huh? You gonna run, Marsgen? You can't. That's what now. <laughs> That's also what now. <laughs> oh man, I should have done that to begin with. Yay, we get a Mars Gen. And now everybody has six Gen. We're so close to having all the Gen in the game. Just four more. Flash. I do not remember what you do. Oh, block damage to uh, the party with a wall. You are very useful. I forgot about you. Alright, so I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu. And next time we will see... Alright, that's just a regular rock. I'm like, wait a minute, is that actually just a Psy Energy Stone in disguise? No, it's just a rock. Next time we're going to see what this red tornado is. Um... Some of you will know what this is. Some of you won't. We'll find out next time. Take it easy, guys. And I'm gonna save.